For this week's project, we're going to be looking at the work of an artist named Krista Reneveld. Uh, she is from the Netherlands, and she makes uh, really unique landscapes using patterns of lines and dots. Now, one of the big ideas to keep in mind is uh, when you repeat a lot of lines going sort of the same direction, it can create an illusion of volume. It can um, suggest like horizontal lines repeated will look like they're on a flat surface. Vertical lines look like they're sticking up vertically. Curved lines will look like they're wrapped around a curved form. Um, but the lines can also create sort of a pathway for the eye to follow. Whether you're consciously aware of it or not, the human eye is naturally following lines. So when we add these lines throughout our work, we're creating pathways for the eye to follow around the composition. So it can be a good strategy to create a variety of line designs that are going sort of in different directions around your artwork. And what, what uh, Renneveld does is she covers the mountains, she covers the landscape with different line designs, different line patterns that are going in different directions to create a sense of visual movement, um, as well as to just create her own sort of unique style, her own unique approach to making artwork. Um, you know, an artist always wants to have their sort of signature style, their, something that differentiates their work from, from other people's, and this is a very unique approach. Um, she's also known for using those patterns and repetitions of dots. And one thing to keep in mind, whether you are using dots or lines, um, when you're when you're making more of those marks closer together, having those bigger, heavier, more solid dots, it's or it's going to make a darker value. It's I think of it sort of like using dots, but in the same same fashion that I might use hatching lines and things like that. The more lines or dots and the closer together they are, the darker it's going to appear. And as you spread them apart, we see more of the white of the paper showing through, and that's going to create a lighter value. So these different elements of art are being applied. Um, you know, we've got the patterns of the lines and the dots creating a bit of um, visual movement and a bit of texture as well as a bit of value in the artwork. So after we've created that basic landscape, what we're going to do then is add some color to it, add another element. Now, during remote learning, of course, you have your choice of materials. I'm trying to demonstrate some different techniques. So for this week, what I'm doing is I'm, I used a Sharpie a permanent marker for for all of the black and then I'm using washable markers Crayola type markers um, just to sort of outline or go around the perimeter of all of the different shapes that I've drawn after that I'm painting over it with just water and what I do is I use my brush um, to first trace over the marker lines with the wet paintbrush. So the water on the brush mixes with the ink from the washable marker and it spreads kind of like a watercolor paint. And what I like about this technique is it generally gets the colors to be a little bit lighter and fade as it gets in towards the, the middle of the shape. So it creates, again, a little bit of uh, differentiation in the value or a little bit of shading as I'm going, just because of the areas where it's more saturated with ink and the areas where it's less saturated. Of course, you are always welcome to go above and beyond what is demonstrated here. I've seen this drawing. I don't need to see a hundred more copies of it. You can use different um, you can use different materials if you would like, but you can also throw in your own unique twists, put your own unique spin on it. You could add other elements to it. You could you could add uh, different subject matters incorporated into there. Maybe it's going to be an animal sort of more naturalistically made uh, like we saw in one of the previous in one of the first examples but it could also be something totally surreal and unexpected maybe you're gonna have a flying saucer coming down in the sky um, whatever you would like to make it your own I would highly encourage <laughs> 